Hello, Paul Ellis from the RIC Group here, and I would like to give you a webinar on our SBO for PDA, which is our warehouse management solution for MYB Advanced. The RIC Group started in 2001, and we have now got customers in Australia, New Zealand, Asia, Africa, and North America wide. Our SBA 4 PDA warehouse management solution is certified with Acumatica. You can find our solution on the Acumatica website under solutions. The majority of our customers are in the distribution and manufacturing industries. To interface with MYB Advanced, we use the API or SDK, which is known as a software development kit. To contact us at the RIC Group, you can email us at sales at thericgroup.com or visit our website, thericgroup.com.au. The features of SBO4 PDA, scan, pick and pack with EDI compliance, goods receiving, stock transfers and bin transfers, completely interfaced with MYB advanced multiple bin locations, stock taking, stock lookup, kitting, license plating, and barcode printing. So today, I've got MYB Advanced, and I have MYB Advanced open, and here I've generated a sales order. So what I want to show you is how the sales order is picked and packed by our warehouse management solution and creates the shipment document automatically. So for here, I've created a sales order, and what you'll know is I've got two products here with a quantity of one each, and I've ticked a checkbox here called release for picking. If I want this sales order to go down to the PDA or the PDA units to be picked in the warehouse, uh, so, uh, warehouse pickers, I need this checked. So let's go to our warehouse solution. You'll notice here that our pick pack manager is completely cloud based and is a cloud solution interfaced with MYB Advance. So you'll hear you'll see here the document number or the sales order number 510568. And you can see here in MYB Advance 510568 the two items 100 and 220. And when I click on this in our pick pack manager, you'll see both items with the order quantity. What I want to show you is that our pick pack manager will give you full traceability on the phases and the pick phases that are happening in the warehouse. Now this could be used by an operations manager, it could be used by administration, it could be used by management. I can have a complete workflow or best business practice on the sales orders that need to be released and once they're released, they can be seen by the PDA units, the sales orders that have been retrieved by the PDAs, any sales, that have, uh, sales orders that have been parked and still need to be picked, sales orders that have been completed picking, and then sales orders that have been confirmed and back into MYB Advance for the shipment. I can see all my previous sales orders that I've picked. So let's go through the process here. Firstly, I can click on the line and say release. Once released, you'll see that pick ID 27 has been created for sales order or document number 510568. If I pull up the PDA, you'll see that I can go into sales, purchases and infantry. If I go into sales, I have an option here for pick pack. Into pick pack, the PDA will go and query our pick pack manager and say yes, there's a sales order has been released. It's number 27 pick ID for sales uh, sales order number or document number 510568. I can click on that and say start. The PDA unit will wirelessly go and retrieve the data for that pick ID, which is obviously the two sales order lines. So at the moment, I've got the two sales order lines, both to be picked from a receiving bin location 
as that's where the majority of the, the items exist for uh, these two picks or these two items, I've got a release quantity of one. For this particular item, I'm going to pick from a different bin location. I can click onto bin and what I can do here is say L01, that bin location, I'm going to pick it out of this bin location. I could scan the bin location and then scan the item and it would do exactly the same thing as this manual entry here. I'm going to click save and I'm on to my next item which is the 220. For this item I'm going to pick it out of the receiving location. So I've got my two items. I scroll across here. I've got my pick quantity, I've got my sales IDs and I've got my descriptions. So I've now completed the pick. I'm going to complete. Just before I complete, I want to show you here in retrieved, refreshing, I've got my pick ID 27. So just down the bottom right here is the refresh. If I go back to the PDA, I'm going to say complete and once it's sent back, it should move into the picked section. So it's sending the data back wirelessly. And you'll see that's been sent. The PDA has completed sending. Pick ID 27. Document number 568. And you can see both items have been picked, one and one. And you can see here that I've changed the bin location. I've actually picked out of the bin location L01. So from this screen, I'm going to create the shipment. Now in MYB, once you've created the sales order, you then need to move in to shipments. Once you've created a shipment, you can do the invoice. You can do an invoice from sales orders as well, but the process of scan picking is you do the sales order, you release the sales order, PDA picks the items and it creates the shipment for you. So in the shipment tab here, what we can do is click on refresh and you'll see that the shipment number here, 379, has been created. Shipped quantity of 2. If I click into this shipment number, my shipment that the PDA actually created is here now in MYB Advanced. So you'll see, uh, or if you remember, for item 100, we actually picked it out of a different bin location, L01. Here it is, ship quantity 1, ordered quantity 1. So I've got now my two items here. I can click on this and say allocations. And you'll see that the allocation for the bin location is here as well. From here, you would normally confirm your shipment, or if there's any differences in your shipment that you might need to add for such as freight amount you can do that but today I'm just going to confirm my shipment and you can see now my shipment has been confirmed right it's all been created so now I'm just going to go back into order 510568 and you'll see that it's been completed. And when I go into shipment section again, you'll see that the status of the shipment has now been confirmed. I can still open up that shipment, but you can see the process. Firstly, I create a sales order. I release that sales order in the pick pack manager, and then I pick it, and then it automatically sends back the shipment. So I've got a complete workflow. I've got a best business practice. So let's go through that. All right. In regards to purchase orders, you can have a purchase order and then I can do a goods receipt on the PDA unit. 
So I created a purchase order here, 770052, for clear and bright filters. And I've got order amount of 2 and 2 for cooler large and cooler filter. We go to the PDA unit. Go into purchases. Go into goods receiving. And click new receipt. The purchase order number is 770052. Save receive order. Click yes to commit goods and new receipt. So what the PDA unit should be doing now is going and querying MYB Advanced for that purchase order to retrieve the purchase order lines. And you can see here my two items, quantity 2 and 2, description cooler large and cooler filter, the exact two items that I have in MYB Advanced for this purchase order. And I'm going to go and I'm going to, sorry, put in a quantity there of two and update. Now if I was to scan the items, it automatically increments these items as well. I could use an inner and outer barcode as well. So if I had a inner barcode and an outer barcode, such as you know a, a carton barcode or a box barcode for a multiplier, I could use that. The multiplier might be 10. So each time I scan, it will go 10, 20, 30, 40. Save that. Exit. And then on this screen, click on Complete Receipt. I'm going to confirm that and that's okay. So now the software from the PDA is going to communicate with Mob Advance and send the goods receipt back to against that purchase order. So here I've gone into goods receiving, I've clicked new receipt, I've created a new receipt and then I can complete or confirm my receipt. So the purchase order number was 770052. So if I go and refresh this, and click onto receipts and refresh. It takes about 30 to 60 seconds for our, our cloud software, our cloud warehousing solution there to go and talk to Mob Advance. So it will go and send the information and MYB Advanced, obviously, being hosted in Amazon, New South Wales, there's always a few seconds there that it needs to go and communicate. At the moment, not there. But as I say, it does take about 30 seconds to go through. So what I've done is I've created a purchase order in MYB Advanced, I've retrieved that on the PDA unit, I scan the quantities that I've received and it will come back and it will create the goods receipt. There we go, so about 30 seconds. So you can see there's type receipt and receipt number 800045 has been created for a total quantity of four. If you can remember, it was two and two. So by clicking into this receipt number, you can see here's my goods receipt automatically going into the receiving location. So when you're using multiple bin or a multiple bin item locations, such as for Bob Advanced, you normally receive your items into the receiving bay or the receiving bin location and then you're picking it from the default bin locations or the default picking locations. Sorry. So from here I can then confirm my receipt and then go and create my bill and uh, go there and pay the supplier. So again this process creating the purchase order, completing the goods receipt on the PDA the PDA is sending back the information as the goods receipt into MIB Advanced, and then the administration user can go and complete the costing process and complete um, the bill or the purchase receipt from MYB Advanced.
just want to do another sales order and show you how it's released into our uh, website software, our picking management website, and going from there to release into a PDA unit to go and pick. Create the sales order. I'm going to add a couple of stock items. Now note that the PDA software is pointing to a warehouse. So when you're releasing these uh, items, it's only going to pick up the items that belong to that warehouse. So I might choose a different item. And I choose this item, which is a MC or Motorola 67. I'm going to choose two. Just going to save that. So again, if I want to release it to the picking management website, if I want this sales order to be picked by the PDA units, I must tick on release for picking. So as an administration user or um, as an operations person, I can actually select the sales orders that I want to see in the picking management website. Just remember, you could see, you could put them all, you could have this as a default to say release for picking and you could have them all in the uh, picking management website and you only release the sales orders as in you want the sales orders. When you release them, they'll be picked. What I mean by released is this section here. You only release the sales orders that you want to be picked. So when they're in released, then they can be seen by the PDA to be picked. When they're in open, they're not, they cannot be seen by the PDA. So you can see, I've just created that sales order for AZ Stationery um, um, Supplies, 510569. If I click in here, you can see the line number, the item code, and the quantity is 2. Now again, I can't see this order on the PDA. As you can see, it's not appearing on my PDA. It won't appear until I release it. So I could click on that line and say release like I did previously, or I could actually open the sales order like this on my screen and say release as well. Once it's released, it creates a pick ID. When you have a pick ID, you can then see it on the PDA. So if I quickly refresh, pick ID, 28 is now being shown. If I click start, I could have a picking docket. If I had a picking docket, I could put a barcode on it. On the barcode, on that barcode, it could be a barcode of that sales order number. And that sales order number could be uh, scanned by the PDA unit and the PDA unit will automatically retrieve. Otherwise, I simply pl uh, click uh, on the pick ID and press start. This item is actually a serialized item. Now if I go to the quantity pack screen or if I was to scan an item and go to quantity pack, you can see the valid serial numbers. These are the valid serial numbers that are in MYB Advanced. So when we've retrieved the sales order from MYB Advanced, we only allow the user to pick the serial numbers that are in the system. So, to pick the serial numbers, whoops, my mistake, I click on the serial number and I say update. You can see the quantity is one. So I've picked the two serial numbers, 16 and 17. You can see the two serial numbers here. Total quantity picked, two from two. I'm going to save that. What I'm going to do now is complete. So if I had an EDI process where I needed to pick items into a box, our SBO4 software does that. If you needed EDI labels or delivery labels, the SBO4 software PDA does that as well. You can see pick ID 28569 has now moved into the picked 
section. It's been completed on the PDA. Let's just have open open up. Pick two and two. So we've picked our actual serialized items here. Now I'm going to create the shipment. So in regards to the picking management website, I have a to, uh, a from date and a to date. This is just my date selection, obviously. Choose a different date and the, and the orders come up. I have my refresh button down here. So no matter which screen I'm in, I can always refresh. Once I refresh, you can see that the data is instantly refreshed. And every time I move into my different sections, you can see that the appropriate information comes up. So here are all my previous pick IDs or my picks that I've been doing on the MYB Advanced Database. So our pick is for 510569. Let's go and refresh out of here in MYB Advanced. It's automatically status has been updated to shipping. So I know the shipping document has been created. If I go into shipments, you can see the shipment number five, uh, 380 has been created. Now remember this was for serialized item. So we've got quantity uh, two. So what we want to do here is click into allocations. Here we go. I've got the two serial numbers 16 and 17 that have been picked. So what I want to do is click OK and confirm the shipment. So you can see the serial numbers that have been picked by this PDA unit or by the SBA4 software are the serial numbers that are in the system. So they're in MYB now. So you getting verification. So there are no serial numbers going out of your system unless they exist in the system. So this shipment has now been confirmed. As you can see, the status is confirmed. Again, if I go into allocations, my two serial numbers that I've picked, these are the two serial numbers that I've picked for the item. And that's what we've got in regards to picking serial numbers exactly the same if I was to pick batch numbers. Okay, so one of the features we also have is stock transfers and I'll quickly run through stock transfers. So let's pick an item in my advance. So what I've done here is gone to infantry and I've gone into stock items. If I go into summary, you'll see that this item belongs in a whole lot of different bin locations. So what I'm going to do is a transfer from L02 to L03. And what I'm going to do is just do a simple transfer of 1. So L03 should move to 160 and L02 will move to 339. On the PDA, I go into the transfer. What I'm going to do, it's already gone to the item 100. I'm in from, so when it's grey like this, that means I'm doing a transfer from. So the main warehouse is right, so I'm going to choose L02. And then I'm going to put quantity of 1. And then I'm going to choose the bin location that I'm transferring to, which was L03. And I'm going to add that. So I've, I've transferred from L02 to L03. If I could click on review, you'll see the transfer. Now I could do multiple transfers here. I could scan the I, I scan the item, scan the bin locations I'm transferring from. So if I was doing a put away process, i.e. that a uh, whole lot of stock has now been received and the uh, bill has been created in MYB Advanced, I can then do a put away process. I can scan the items that I'm putting away and um, and then scan the bin locations that I'm putting them into. So a put away process. So that's a stock transfer. Firstly I scan the, um, the item, choose the, uh, the from location and then select the to location. 
again, I could be scanning the pin locations. What I've done here is just click on refresh and you can see that I've now got 339 in L02 and 160 in my L03 location. So I've done a transfer of one. So I've done scan picking process. I've completed a good receipt and I've also done a stock transfer. So just to go over that sales order process, I create the sales order in Mob Advance, and if I want it released to the picking management website, I click release for picking. On then the pick pack manager, I'll release it. Once it goes into released, it can be retrieved onto the PDA. Once confirming on the PDA and, and completing the pick, it will go into picked. I create the shipment into MIB Advanced, into Shipments, and I can confirm the shipment and edit freight details. I could even edit the, the shipment and things like that from there, but I can do that process in MIB Advanced. Complete the shipment, create the invoice. That's the business process. I hope you've enjoyed the webinar. If you've got any questions about our warehouse management solution for MIB Advanced, give us a call or email us at sales at the Thank you for listening.